first day for our new recognition in Madrid for FEINDEV 2019, the very first defense and security exhibition taking place in Spain. The participation is mainly Spanish, but there are some foreign countries just like Korea, Israel and Czech Republic. Some huge markets are expected and justify the presence of those exhibitors here in Madrid. Everis Aerospatial y Defensa is a company that joins the capabilities of uh, many different companies inside our groups, from mortar systems to air pass, uh, anti-mining system, and many different components that later on we can, we can show you. Here, what I have behind me is the Alacran Mortar Carrier System. It's a system that can operate 120 or 81 millimeters uh, mortar. It has the advantage to operate from the ground, so recoil doesn't affect the vehicle and that's why we can operate from a very light vehicle that, like this Eurovantac. This system specifically has been the one that is uh, being under test with the program Brigade 2035 of the Spanish Army and successfully is, is passing the different tests and proofs in this, in this program. The mortar has two components, one is a deployment system that moves the mortar from inside the vehicle to outside and fix it into the ground and the other one is the automatic aiming system that based on the ballistic calculation we have it automatics aims the mortar and gives the efficiency of the system directly from the first for the from the first round so we are making a mortar that traditionally is a statistic system low precision system into a much uh, higher precision system with this automatic uh, alacran mortar system Good morning, my name is Joxan Bojorquez. I am uh, the Business Development Director here in uh, Escribano Mechanical and Engineering. Escribano is a company, it's a family-owned company, and it was started in uh, 1987 uh, as a precision uh, machining company. Today, as you can see in our stand, it's not anymore a precision uh, machining company, but we are a system uh, manufacturer. Our main system, uh, as you can see in the back, uh, is a remote control weapon stations, 12.7 uh, caliber. Uh, nonetheless, we can mount several uh, caliber of uh, weapons, 5.56, 7.62, 12 12.7. Uh, we are working in our M230LF uh, cannon, which you can see in concept in, in the stand. And the system that I have on my back is an uh, anti-drone system that can, can use a, a weapon from Dillon Area in this case. Uh, this is a dummy from M134D. And uh, the system, uh, the entire vehicle is mounted with a electro-optical system, a very powerful electro-optical system manufactured by us, and a remote control weapon station that also has its own electro-optical system and the control of the weapon, also the ballistic calculation, of course. Uh, system completely stabilized, and uh, from inside of the vehicle, you can see the command and control and the different uh, posts for the gunner and the, and the observer. Uh, throughout the stand, you will see several systems for uh, land, uh, air, and naval applications. Uh, the, you will find uh, the 30 millimeter weapon for uh, naval applications, which we call Sentinel-30. Here we have the integration of the Guardian 2.0 uh, with the Milgram Robotics uh, Themis vehicle. It's uh, an unmanned vehicle, and we have integrated the weapon station together with the uh, M230LF, which is the, the cannon. Uh, for the American cannon used in different weapon stations. Uh, we are Altus, or brand is Altus, and we are in the market since 1945. Uh, we have two business lines. The first one is the professional line, and then we have also the sports line. Uh, we work uh, the outdoor sports. That's it, that's what is important. And then we have here, we are in the, in the fair, uh, explaining our new products. Uh, we have two new products for the, for, for the professional line. This one that you see here is uh, the bag, the, the bag bag with the air, with the air bag is for avalanche. Uh, you can use this when you're in the mountains, when you uh, have an avalanche. 
uh, this protects you because it's, it makes you uh, stay upper in the, in the snow. This is really important. It's uh, really useful for the, for the forces that works on the mountains. Uh, it has 150 liters uh, of air and then you have a bottle with a kind of a gas that inflates uh, the 30% of the airbag and the other one comes from the, from the air that goes in the outside. There's a valve that uh, inhal inhales uh, the air and it, it gets 150 liters. It inflates uh, around three to four seconds. You have a trigger here, you, you pull the trigger and then in three or in four seconds the airbag inflates itself. Okay, we can see here two backpacks. This is the one for men and this is the one for women. This actually, uh, the land army is using it right now. And this one is the new one that we adapt to the woman ergonomy. And it's shorter on the back. It's thinner also on the back. Then you have here for the hips, it has more inclination. Then this, the shoulder, it's thinner and also the carve that you see here, it's more pronounced than the one over there. This is basically because uh, the women uh, normally are shorter than the men. And this is why we have to adapt the ergonomy of the backpack to the new uh, backpack itself. Good morning. My name is Bartolome Bauza and I am the Managing Director of Trium DRS, who is a company integrated, a consortium basically, integrated by three companies, three EU companies, Escribano Mechanical and Engineering, Indra and Grupo Leonardo. We, are, uh, we have formed this consortium to manufacture, to design and manufacture a uh, remote weapon station this turret is a remote weapon station, a 30 mm remote weapon station, fully automatic. And it, it consists, uh, as you can see, of, a, of a, uh, a gun of 30 mm. And you will not see it because this turret is under production right now. It's also a coaxial gun of 7.62 mm. The work share of the three companies is basically 40, 30, 30. And one of the principles we have set is that each company is providing the best. The area of expertise of each company is the, their contribution into this, into this project. We intend to go into the uh, Spanish, European and international markets and so we are in conversations with some governments and some companies to have Trium on board of their projects for remote weapon stations. We can have this turret on top of several, several vehicles here in my back, we have an old Spanish M113, the, what is called basically in Spanish TOA, and, um, and, but it can go on, on every kind of vehicle that it's either basically 6x6, six 8x8 six, eight eight, or even 10x10. Ten ten. Okay, my name is uh, Justo Sierra and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of uh, Euro Eurovesa company. The vehicle that we have on, uh, on my right side is uh, what we call a Vantac. It's a high mobility tactical vehicle manufactured by our company since 1998 in different configurations. The one that we are exhibiting today here is a vehicle that is uh, specially designed and devoted to the uh, EOD uh, tasks, meaning uh, mind disactivation and detection. Okay, the first we have to talk about the level of protection of the uh, for the crew. Uh, the vehicle is fully protected, uh, uh, either ballistic and uh, uh, against uh, anti-tank mines, meaning that the crew uh, uh, is sure and sure inside, and uh, the uh, survival cell of the vehicle is is uh, capable to withstand different. Uh, 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 really high threats in the operational theaters where our customers are deployed. And then on the back of the vehicle, we have uh, uh, designed and manufactured uh, such as a cargo compartment that is specially uh, made 
for the purpose of uh, installing and transporting and deploying all the equipment and the devices that the EOD teams need to carry with them when they find some kind of IED or uh, threatening uh, device. So they carry basically all the uh, disactivation uh, devices. The robot itself is uh, uh, con remote control from inside of the cabin crew so they can deploy the, ro the robot so to say at 300 meters away from the vehicle and the robot can perform the task of the salivation the, uh, of the salivating a mine and everything is controlled from a mast that is deployed above the vehicle that is integrated also in the vehicle so uh, basically uh, what we're ensuring is that we carry with everything we need to desactivate a mine and we do it safely from inside of the vehicle and all the control system is deployed with a mast.